good morning everyone welcome to my channel um as always thank you thank you so much for each time that you have clicked like and subscribe and to our channel and um that you have let someone know about our channel because why word of mouth help it help spread the news out there so um i pray and bless god for you and um i know i missed you guys on last week we've been talking a lot about the holy spirit which we're not gonna stop and you guys already know it um i know the last video i did was on love how do you display love as a christian and of course the most phenomenal love that was displayed for you and i which was god himself sending his only begotten son jesus christ to die on the cross for our sins which is agape love to be able to love someone unconditionally without um without limits without um how do you say without restriction without uh you love them um knowing that they don't need to owe you anything you just love them because god placed that love in you for them uh yes we're outside so if you guys hear nature playing chirps this and that we're outside <laughs> so yes our background noises love it right <laughs> all right so today we're going to talk about another fruit of the holy spirit this fruit of the holy spirit is called long suffering <laughs> long suffering so long suffering is definitely one of the fruit of the holy spirit and long suffering can be found of course in the book of what do we leave off with the fruit of the holy spirit it can be found in the book of galatians chapter 5 verse 22 are the fruits of the holy spirit oh, am i saying that right or is it ephesians i think it's ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 forgive me for that so you'll find one of the fruit of the holy spirit but today we want to look into long suffering so long suffering meaning to ha meaning having a showing patient despise troubles especially when those caused by other people our job our family our church and so on by obeying the holy spirit the believer in christ can say no to retaliation and exhibit a forgiving and long-suffering attitude <laughs> so long-suffering how is that in any form type of way in my life and long-suffering in my life um I can definitely recall before my before my husband actually um, has a personal relationship with God and 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 um, and what was he had a relationship personal relationship let me recap he had a personal relationship but we were not on what you said one accord uh, we were not um, praying together regularly or walking together and that was a huge struggling in our house and um and i had to endure and i had to learn to have patience and to for him you know for me to love him through it and for him to love me uh um even though i was being difficult because i'm sure i wasn't perfect <laughs> so and difficultness we had to learn to overcome all this and the only way that you can overcome all this is of course through prayer so another thing that happened um, recently a decision was made and that left me extremely hurt and upset okay um, even though I prayed about it and even though I talked to God about it <laughs> and even though I read it my I get on my worried about it it still feel hurt I don't know if you guys ever been in that situation where you're like but God or pray but God or really right word but then the feeling of hurtness is just still there and so truth be told I was hurt for about two days but within prayer and time and in the word and it's so true when the bible said time heal all wounds it does and god help it to be wound because god is in control of time and and for two days i was just like in my old good old just rusted feeling and as i prayed and saying my word it just vanished the hurtness it was gone you still feel like there's a teeny witsy but the deep like ah you know that hurt with you you can't breathe got him y'all i'm being blunt <laughs> that hurt when you cannot breathe when you're just like damn like i'm hurt okay it was just like one of those all right but um but i thank jesus that because i talked to him about the hurt 
And because I prayed, he helped me to deal with it. And you might not look at it as a long suffering. And I believe that it can tie up for long suffering because um, we don't do good be only because we don't do good because we want to do good. We only do good because God himself has placed, has placed good in us. The Holy Spirit will instruct us to do good because outside of the Holy Spirit, aside from God, we can do no good. We don't think about doing good. We don't think about loving anybody. We don't. But because God himself has placed love in us, we could find ourselves doing good. So don't ever do anything for anyone and go in and look back and be like, well, I did this, I did that. The devil's a lie. Don't do that. If I love you, because I love you for real. If I've done anything for you, it's because I've done it for real. Not because you want credibility, not because you need a pat on the back, or not because you need some kind of trophy. Don't do anything and expect, do good and expect nothing in return. Just know that God got you and that's just it. So I had to get to that place where I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I, you know, yeah, you've done X, Y, and Z or da, 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 but it wasn't, it wasn't because you wanted like a trophy. It wasn't because that you wanted a grand slam, um, on a, an innovation about it. Okay. But listen, y'all, I just thank God because God wanted me to, um, experience that. I had to experience that. And so I think those things that in life that we look at like well why do i have to go through that or why did i have to experience that or well why did that affect me so much it's so you can tell someone about it because you know what just because i've overcome something just because i've been through it just because god have healed me in it and still healing me in it <laughs> doesn't mean that everyone else is gonna get a healing but just like i felt like i needed um a lot of time God plays things in you and you're like, I just need that extra push. I just need that extra training because you know what you want to do or God have laid it out. The Holy Spirit have laid it out what God is calling you to do. But you need that extra training and that extra pushing. So even though in my spirit, I knew that there were more training to come. I knew that there was going to be another group picked. I knew that this was just a forerunner of things but i was hurt <laughs> i was hurt i was hurt by the whole decision that was made and and um and i felt like because i suffered <laughs> because how much hurt i was i was like i gotta be next in line god i gotta be next in line so i prayed and i cried and i complained and of course like my husband's and this and that and and i'm not sure where all the hurt went but by the second day i felt a lot better I felt a lot better. I felt like, okay, God, you got me, you got this, you're in control. We need to learn to be still and knowing that God is in control. We need to learn to be still and knowing that he know what he's doing. We need to learn to be still and knowing that no matter how much it hurt, where you feel like as if that experience where there's like a knife just puncturing through your heart, where you feel like, I can't breathe because you have your mind have traditioned the pain to this point where you're like I cannot breathe I feel so painful like you're like just just stop do this with me just go breathe it out <laughs> and then give it to God so I thank God I thank God because he took complete control of the situation and um, it wasn't it didn't kill me it just strengthened me like i can go back i can face all things and i can press in and i can love and i can um be in the position where god needed me needed me to be and um and not feel like i'm dying because long suffering will make you feel like you're dying long suffering will make you feel like the life in you is being choked out when it's not it's just a pain and the your way your mind just fabricate everything fabricate the situation fabricate the words that were said fabricate the whole conversation fabricate the situation and your mind just keep playing and it displayed and this mind is a terrible thing <laughs> jesus that's why i said let the mind that is in christ be also in you so i pray that you let the mind that is in christ be also in you and that your long suffering and the things that you face the things that you go through and the things that you find yourself struggling um 
that the fight that you found in your holy the fight that you find that your spirit keep tugging and going to and fro and back that um that the holy spirit itself will help you and will help you to overcome and will help you to uh get healed and will help you to um will help you to get healed and will help you to overcome and help, will help you to endure because you have to endure is when you quit that things are over so praying that this will be a blessing to you guys um as always thank you thank you so much for each time that you have clicked like and subscribe and have share our video word of mouth help we gotta go farther we gotta go higher i'm recording my backyard <laughs> who knows give me a couple of months it'll be a studio give me a couple of months our name will be out there who knows but remember you're not just watching a video in our channel to tell you about the word of God and the teaching of God. Also, Taste of Heaven is also uh, ice cream. A Taste of Heaven on Earth um, is also, look us up in YouTube or Instagram or even um, Snapchat or Facebook. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Again, thank you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.